never a day that we needed new friends, four-legged friends. <laughs> That's right. It's today. We've got puppies in the studio for National Puppy Day. Yes, and we're so excited. Haley Wolf joins us now from Indie Humane. Thank you so much for being here, Haley. Thank you for having oh us. Oh my gosh, I am in love. I already have a Lucy. I'm in love with my daughter. But now this little puppy's named Lucy, and I want you to check out her big, massive blue eyes. Oh my She's goodness. giving me kisses. She's so snuggling. So they're, they're, so Lucy's six weeks old, correct? Yep. Yes. They are, are they siblings? They are. Okay, so that's Lucy, and I have Lucy. Ethel over here. Ethel's a little cuddle bug. Baby. I don't know if you want to come over here. Ethel's Aww. been hanging out with me. <laughs> she keeps she keeps hiding. Oh, look at They're her. so sweet. Here, honey. You want to make new friends? Oh. Okay. Oh, we're just going to be friends with me. Okay. That's fine. If you can get right on this side. So, you know, it's National Puppy Day. What yes. do people need to know? Because people love to add to their families, just yes. like Ethel. Yes. Hi, honey. So, everyone Babies. loves puppies Baby. and kittens and the small baby animals but the biggest thing we want people to know is they're so so much work um their yes, foster family true. will tell you you know sleepless nights lots of lots of messes lots of snacks um it's like so, having a baby it I mean, absolutely people have a is. Puppy, it really mm -hmm. is right it, it really absolutely is. Yeah. is like having a baby having a toddler for many many months to come um, so if people are looking into adopting, we encourage them to just have realistic expectations of what might be a good fit for their family. Maybe that's a puppy, maybe it's an older cat or dog, right. um, maybe something like fostering would be really good for your family if you're just not sure what you might want to bring home to your family. <laughs> yeah, she's vocal. It's okay, You know, babe. what I love so much about puppies, and really dogs in general, right, is that you get a chance to learn a lot about yourself. Because That's just right. when you thought you knew, uh -huh. you really don't know until you have one of these cute babies. What are some tips that you have for people if they're thinking about going and either adopting or, mm -hmm. you know, checking you guys out? Uh, what should be some things that they should keep in mind? That is a great question. Again, think about the time that your family has. You know, if you're home all the time now, but maybe you'll be going back to work, your kids will be going back to school. If you travel a lot, if you're homebodies, if you're super active and in sports and activities all the time. Um, Good things that, to think about. So all those sorts of things all to right. think about. Now, Haley, how should people prep before bringing a puppy home? Oh, again, it's just like having a baby. So puppy proofing your home, whether it's a puppy or an older pet, right. um, making sure everything is safe and there's nothing naughty they can get into. Okay. Um, and then having a crate and supplies and all those things before you bring the animal home to set them up for and success. As far as breeds go, do you recommend any breeds if you have children at home over others? <laughs> um, we like to think it's of okay. every Lucy animal. Just oh, no. That happens with all of us. It does. <laughs> Keep going. It does. So every animal is unique. Okay. Every animal is different and has a different personality. Oh, okay. So when you rescue from a shelter like it's Inhumane, okay. we try to tell you as much as we can okay. that okay. we know about that animal so it can be a good fit for your home. Have too. You I seen a lot of increase or decrease with the pandemic of people it's wanting okay. to add to their families? It oh. is about the same year to year. We're seeing oh. some different trends. Um, okay. People adopting maybe for different reasons. Again, maybe they're home, maybe their kids are home from school, maybe they're working from home for the foreseeable future. <laughs> Um, and of course, puppies and kittens are still getting adopted at very high rates because, again, it's a great time to adopt for a lot of families. That's perfect. And can you adopt? Do you recommend adopting together, like if there's a set mm -hmm. of siblings? For kittens, absolutely. Okay, kittens. Kittens need a buddy. They need something to channel that energy, wow. or they're going to find their own fun, whether you want them to or not. <laughs> um, okay. But puppies, we recommend adopting separately, so you okay. can really give that puppy the proper training and socialization and all of its attention. And all the love. You guys probably just heard uh, Ethel breathing. Yeah. That's that's what that was. Oh, hey, listen, we're about at the end of our segment. But what should people need? What should people know in order Aww. to get in touch with you guys? Because these guys aren't available just yet, right? Not quite yet. So a few more weeks for these puppies and their siblings, but our website is updated throughout each day, indihumane.org, with all of our adoptable pets. We are doing adoptions by appointment only at this time due to the pandemic. Haley, thank you so much for being here. Yes. And for bringing Lucy and Ethel. Yes, we, we needed this. Yeah. We needed this.